Well, I was born in Finland and I grew up in Finland. It's a very different country if you compare to Singapore. When I was 16 years old, I moved to Germany and I have been living there ever since. So I studied music there and then I, after my studies, I stayed there and I'm performing, traveling around. I um, love to play chamber music, so that is what I do most. Based in Berlin, where I also teach. I teach there at the University of the Art. I have two groups that I perform with frequently, a piano quartet and also a string quartet. And then of course I go also to some festivals uh, where I play with other musicians together. And uh, I also do some solo concerts every now and then, but I enjoy most playing with other people together. I'll be leading the Bach Brandenburg Concerto No. 3. This concerto, it's, it's actually more like a chamber music piece. It's written for nine string players and uh, we still add one double bass and a harpsichord to, to make the sound fuller. Like in that Baroque repertory, it's important to have the harpsichord uh, because it's an uh, important part of that music. So there are three violins, three violas, and three cellos and each instrument plays uh, in a soloistic way in a way everybody has their own part and then partly playing together so it's uh, like a big uh, dialogue between nine instruments well biggest influence maybe because i'm performing with my father i should now say that uh, my father is <laughs> Well, at least he is one of the big influences, sure, because he's a musician that has influenced me in many ways. I hope to meet still lots of people who will influence me in a very positive way. I would say a successful musician is somebody who really enjoys what he or she is doing. Music should really be an enjoyment for us. Otherwise, the audience cannot enjoy if, <laughs> if we are not enjoying. But of course, uh, playing is sometimes very, very difficult and sometimes we are also suffering. But it's important that the enjoyment is still bigger than the suffering. Well, the audience uh, in this concert will hear three very different works. Uh, it will start with a smaller ensemble, the Bach Brandenburg Concerto, then with the Mozart Symphony, and then end with uh, this Beethoven Triple Concerto, which has really lots of people on stage. Still, everybody actually is communicating with each other. They are different leaders, so depending on the music, the leading position changes, and it can be maybe a wind player in the orchestra, it can be the timpani, uh, playing so it's uh, constantly changing it's not that there's one conductor who leads everything and everybody following it's, it's a little bit like in a football game so everybody has to uh, follow everybody i just arrived yesterday in singapore and uh, i haven't seen much yet uh, it seems it's a wonderful place and i enjoy very much the warm weather uh, had enough of the long winter in europe and uh, definitely uh, we are going to the night safari, maybe after the concert uh, one day.